Welcome back to Dell's Ducks Hockey this week, number 13 on DellsDucksHockey.com and JuniorHockey.com radio. Uh, we're here again tonight with head coach Bill Zanaboni, assistant coach Jake Haybison, and we're joined tonight by Jimmy Buckingham, a newcomer on the Dell's Ducks from Egan, Minnesota. Welcome, Jimmy. Uh, you attended Creighton Durham High School last year and uh, signed with the Ducks this year. Uh, obviously a huge first weekend with the team uh, at the showcase event in Rochester. 15 points, uh, lead the league in, in scoring right now. Uh, kind of a dream opening. What was the, what's the biggest difference uh, between junior and high school hockey? Uh, speed of the player. The speed of the player is a lot, a lot higher, a lot more physical than high school for yeah. sure. Um, the skill, I was, I think I was up to the par with that, but it just took a little bit of adjusting to get um, the, my physical game going in high school. Now, I only got to see one game up close. Obviously, that was the game played here at the Poppy Waterman against the Saints. The goal you scored in that game came off the backboard, right out to you on your stick, and then right in the net. Just a case of right place, right time. Is that just the way it seemed to go all weekend, Brian? Yeah, I mean, he and uh, Bauer and Harris all really clicked this weekend. So I got to give a lot of credit to those guys. The rest of the team just really worked hard. Um, so kind of just, we got a lot of good bounces. Uh, we worked pretty hard this weekend. Yeah, Joey Bauer and Ian Harris, both returning players. <coughs> they bring a lot of speed to the team. Is that one of the biggest attributes from your line, you think? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think that's the main reason we have succeeded in the past four games. <coughs> and do you feel like the communication is just really good? Like, uh, just you just know where each other are all the time? or? Yeah, I mean, right away, obviously, we're kind of getting the feel of where we are, but now I think we're really clicking. <coughs> and, and it seemed like uh, the nice thing about this weekend was that the, the offense was coming from everywhere. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. We'll just recap the weekend from anybody who was under a rock this weekend. Uh, the Ducks started out with a 15-1 win against uh, St. Louis, a record-setting win. Most goals ever scored by the Ducks were shots. Over 100 shots in the game for the Dallas Ducks. Uh, followed that up with a very <coughs> tight battle with the Marquette Royales. A 4 3 win uh, that included a late goal by the Royales that made the uh, finish a lot more interesting than, uh, than the Ducks wanted it to be. Followed that up with an 8 3 win over the Wisconsin Rampage and finally a 7 2 win on points. Uh, Coach Santaboni, just overall thoughts on the weekend? Yeah, I thought it was, uh, you know, anytime you win, you're, you're excited, right? Especially early in the season. I think uh, these are the games that teams will maybe let up on and, and want back at the end of the year. I think we've talked about that in the previous couple of, uh, you know, YouTube shots and stuff. But, yeah, I mean, it's it was tough. I thought, uh, you know, we, we ran through a lot of guys, four games, four days. It's tough on your body. Uh, and if, you, you know, you play the way we want guys to play, you're going to get banged up and you're going to get hurt. And, uh, hurt is different than being injured, and that's what we're trying to get in our guys' head right now. And, you know, we're, we got a long stretch to go, so um, it's great to win four games, and, and now we're looking forward to, uh, you know, to be able to go Friday night. Jake, uh, it's early in the season. Special teams is usually something that kind of comes along as the season goes on. But first impressions, I noticed the, uh, the one five-minute penalty kill you had here on Sunday. You had three different uh, units out there killing the penalty. They all seem to do well. Uh, pretty satisfied with that so far? Yeah, I thought over the course of the weekend, uh, from where we were at last year at this point, I think we're a lot further along with the penalty kill. Um, we struggled at times. We did give up a few goals, but um, overall, I thought the guys did a nice job. And that five-minute kill on Sunday was real big. Yeah. Um, in the third period, there we didn't, you know, could have given them a chance to to kind of come back, and we shut them down and didn't really give them any, any hope. So I was happy with that. Uh, excuse me. Let's break it down a little bit. With the offense and the defense. <coughs> Obviously. Um, very explosive offense this weekend, 15 goals the first game, uh, 34 I think over the course of the weekend. Is that something that we can expect all season from this team? It seems like you're getting it from all four lines and do uh, you think that the offense is going to be sort of one of your calling cards this year? Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think we definitely feel that we're deep. You know, I think we're deep as a forward unit. Um, 
I don't know if we're going to get it all year from you know just from our, our top guys or, or our four lines or what. But you know, consistency is the biggest thing I think at this level. So you know, you hope that everyone's ready to go every night, and you, know, you hope uh, guys are going to play uh, you know night in and night out for 60 minutes. But it's usually not the case. We're just going to make sure we try to get our guys on the same page to do that. So. Uh, you know, I think in the first four games, it went pretty well. Um, you know, we had that one close tight game, which is, I mean, that's what we want. <clears throat> and uh, we're down, we're down 2 nothing actually, in that Rampage game, and we came back 1-8-3. to three. We were down 2 nothing. So it's, it's nice to see, like, guys, you know, kind of battle back and not get too concerned, hit a panic button. Uh, that guys, we have confidence in each other right now, and, and that's a good thing. Well, like I said, you know, right now our main focus is on Friday night and Maple Grove with that Olympic sheet, um, sun that's really haunted us last year. So, um, you know, we got to make a statement. Um, defensively, uh, I think, you know, including the goaltending, uh, pretty pretty good effort at nine goals in four games. Excuse me, excuse me, a little bit over two a game. So, uh, it seems like, you know, all things considered, it's Pretty good weekend. There was some goals you weren't completely happy with, so maybe you could have I taken wasn't a couple. Happy off. At all with that. Yeah. So uh, it, I, I get the feeling that right now defensive play and sort of lapses in, uh, in focus is what, is what you're is what you're really talking about this week. Yeah, I think the you know the biggest thing is is the comfort you know comfort level. You know, I think guys look around the locker room, they understand numbers and situations and stuff like that, and you know there's some comfort. Right here. And it's gonna bite us for sure. It's gonna hurt us. And, you know, we've been really trying to stress that you can't be too comfortable, you know, with your job at all. No matter where you are in life, if you're comfortable, someone's trying to take that job from you. And uh, and that's the message that we're trying to send to our guys. You know, this week coming in, you know, I think the biggest thing is is now it's divisional play. And we have to understand within our division, it's going to be tight like it was last year. So, um, you know, comfort has to get thrown out the window. So if we make it uncomfortable every day in practice, then for when the weekend comes, guys are fighting to keep that jersey uh, hung up in, in the locker room for the next game. Okay. And when you're talking, when you say numbers and comfortable, maybe some people don't know that, uh, you know, there, there's some a lot of offensive numbers on the team, but when it comes to defense, uh, you, have, you have sort of a core of players. I know when Matt Danier was talking on the weekend, he, he said if there's a weakness, it might be the defense, not in terms of, of uh, quality, but just in, in depth and in numbers. Depth. You actually had a couple uh, forwards, including uh, I think Yari and uh, Jace Rambellis, that both took a turn on defense. And, and, well. and Dave Moore. Yep. And yeah, Dave Moore. and they did fine. Yeah. But th there's a comfort level there right. because we don't, yeah. we don't have the depth. So, um, you know, that's something that we're working on every day, trying to fix and, and get more bodies in, that's for sure. Right. Okay. Um, when you, uh, Jimmy, are, uh, I noticed you had some special team work on, uh, on Sunday. I'm not sure if you, if you played uh, PK power play all weekend, but uh, you were part of that six in that five minute uh, PK. And does it change your, is there like a different focus when you go on and you're a man down? Do you have to, just sort of worry about being more defensive, or you, all, you mostly all seem to be right on the on the edge of breaking, trying to go for goal when, when you're even when you're short. Yeah, I mean, right when we got here, we were talking about our special team and how we are we are going to score, score goals yeah. on the right handed play. Obviously, when you're killing a power play, you gonna have one less guy. You're gonna uh, obviously you're gonna have to think defense first. Uh, I thought all of the six guys that. PK, especially during that five minute, for that matter, all weekend. Done a really nice job. Um, I think we had a fairly fairly high PK numbers on the weekend. Um, I know a couple of times we got into a couple five on three situations, which we handled very well, um, especially for the first weekend. Okay. Um, now you are heading into a, 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 a tough pair of games. Now, actually, you're going to be facing this Maple Grove. Team a lot here in the next couple of weeks, coach. Uh, you're going to get sick of them probably. Uh, but this weekend coming up, uh, first week consi uh, considering, you know, just looking at stats, the teams look very, very familiar. Uh, you scored a few more goals than them. They allowed nine goals. You allowed nine goals. 
Uh, they play on, you already touched on the big ice. Uh, you have five scorers in the top ten right now, and they have three. So it looks like both teams have high-powered offenses and pretty good defense. So it, it, it should be a couple real close matches, I would expect. Yeah, no, we're, I think Maple Grove's going to be a great team. Uh, you know, I know they have a lot of veteran, uh, you know, returner type field presence uh, in their lineup. <clears throat> so, you know, we're excited. We're excited to play. We're excited to play, and we're excited to get in our division and, and see how, you know, see how we react. Uh, you know, against teams that we're going to have to get through playoffs with. So, uh, yeah, it's a big ice sheet. Uh, they do a really good job of uh, sucking teams, you know, to an east or west side, and then and then throwing it to the outer. And uh, trying to create odd man numbers for sure. So, um, you know, it's stuff we gotta watch and, and you know take control over. And uh, we have to go and set the tempo right away in that game. I think we'll be a little bit more physical than them, but uh, speed and skill sets I think are gonna be very close. And uh, you know, I know our guys have been watching video for two days now on them. So, um, you know, it, it's time to get prepared and, and look for that goal. And I think we might have touched on this last week, but I'm going to ask it again. Uh, you're, you're confident that the physical play will still be effective at, on the bigger ice? Like, a, like, is it more of a skating game on the big ice, or can you still play a physical? Well, game? I, I think you know we're going to play physical for sure. Like, you know, we have to we have to play in all three zones, and we have to take away the middle of the ice. You know, I mean, you know, every day when we talk about back checking, it's always coming back through the middle. It's coming back through the middle because we would. You know, I, I feel confident giving up shots from the outside of the dots uh, rather than you know right. us back checking outside and then they hit with my guy coming in late right in the middle of the slot. So um, you know it's little stuff, little details that we've talked about before. And we on and, and, you know, I, I think we're we are going to be under control. Of the game. You know, we're going to have to stay very disciplined out of the box. I know they got uh, you know, they got some good, they got some really good players. I mean, they got Richie back. They got. Uh, on forward, they got Sam Terris back, they got Babino back. I mean, they got guys that are willing to, to put the effort in. They traded for the goalie from Edina last year who took them to two overtime games with us in the playoffs. Oh, really? Uh, for Addison. So, I mean, yeah, they, they made some offseason moves and they're going to be a good top hockey team. Okay. Uh, Jake, what do you what do you feel like are the keys to, to this game yourself? Like, I mean, is it, the special teams going to be a big factor, you think? Yeah, I think, I mean, Thinking back to the games last year, special teams was pretty important. Um, the adjustments on the Olympic ice, are, you have to make sure that everything is staying between the dots and that, you know, for the defensemen, that our gaps are good and we're not giving up anything easy because they will, you know, that's their home rink, so they gear everything towards right. speed to the outside. We have to make sure that we're solid on, on that aspect just getting our feet wet here on this Olympic guys and it's going to help us out a lot. We've had some successes last year, um, going up to St. Mary's, playing against their college team, I thought we did pretty well. So, or the Michigan. Yeah, so hopefully, you know, that veteran presence and guys who have experience on that ice will, will uh, set the tone really. Is there any difference for goaltenders, coach? Uh, I mean, I, that's the thing I always think is that the angles must be quite a bit different with like the big ice. It, it won't. Uh, <laughs> Like when, when goalies look at angles from from any rink, you're always using you know a dot, you know blue line marker on the wall. So as the rink expands, everything everything will stay normal to you. Uh, so you won't notice a big difference. But what about a shot? Does it take a half a second or longer to get to throw you off at all? No, I don't. I don't no. no, you just I mean you know, as a goalie, you always tell goalies to be patient, react to the deal. So I mean they gotta wait for that to get there anyway. So. Okay. Now, Jimmy, you're obviously from that area of Minnesota. Is that a barn that you've been in before? Uh, I have played there, not for a couple of years. Uh, uh, no. I would think for, for your line, that's something that you're looking forward to, a little bit extra ice just to move around. And move oh, absolutely. Um, our line is very speedy, and I think we can use that to our advantage. <laughs> Um, Coach, let's give a shout out today to uh, a couple of former Duck players. Jacob Steima uh, made his uh, NAHL debut, debut today yep. uh, at the uh, tournament in uh, in Blaine, Minnesota. Uh, unfortunately, a losing effort, I understand. And Dunk Adam, who was a, a player here with the Ducks last year, two assists and a plus one in their opening game. Um, 
against one of the uh, Texas teams. Yeah, and Simon was plus one today as well. Um, so, you know, it's it's nice to see guys that get called up do well. And um, hopefully that's, you know, hopefully it's kind of a statement for other teams in the NA to say, you know, if we're looking to call guys up, we can call the guys from the Ducks because they're preparing guys well to get, uh, you know, to jump and, and, and be ready to step into the lineup. So, yeah, absolutely, we're proud of them. Um, we're going to try to head over there on Saturday with a Saturday off. We're going to try to head over there and watch them play. And, uh, you know, we're always excited to see, to see players that come through our program and develop and, and get better. Yeah, that will be kind of fun. Uh, it's a different road trip this time than we've been on before because uh, we have the Friday game and then a day off Saturday and, a game, and then a game Sunday. And we're playing a team that's actually playing a Thursday night game, which is, 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 was rare in this league. There seems to be quite a few of them this year, but the uh, Energy is playing at Hudson, I believe, tomorrow night. And uh, if they were to win that year, in a battle for first place already. I don't know if that adds any extra to the game. Well, I think you know we're on top. We did we did our job that we you know set uh, going into last week, which was eight points. You know we got it, and, and now it's it's a struggle to stay up there, and, that, and that's good. You know every team's going to come in with an attitude against us, and, and that's something we want because if it's you know if our main goal uh, from our guys in the locker room is just go as far as we can, we have to play. We want everyone's best every night. Uh, one final question I wanted to ask, and just going back to that uh, that tournament on. The last weekend. Um, the, the Minnesota division last year was dominant. Uh, you continue to be dominant. You're the only undefeated team remaining. You're 12-0 against Great Lakes teams. But overall, in the, in the uh, 36 game, or 32 games played this weekend, the Minnesota division won 19 and the Great Lakes division won 13. Uh, Perry's kind of arrived in this league, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I would expect that. I mean, after a year, kind of getting their, their foot wet uh, as a division in the league last year, um, to kind of see what the Minnesota side was about. You know, I think I'd mean, be foolish not to think that they were going to go out and, and work hard this summer and try to big in, you know, the same uh, talent and, you know, recruit the same pool. And, uh, and they did a good job of it. You know, me and Jake were on the road all the time. We saw a lot of those guys. At, uh, at those rinks, and you know they're they're very good people. They do a good job. They put in the effort, and, and uh, you know you gotta applaud people that that take steps forward like that. Right. Okay, I guess that's it for this week. The Ducks will be home again uh, the first weekend in October. They they are playing the two here at Maple Grove this weekend. Next weekend they uh, enjoy a weekend off. Uh, and the weekend after that they'll be home for three more against Maple Grove Energy. Uh, like we said, five games to start the uh, Minnesota division against Maple Grove Energy. We'll get to know them very well. And uh, hopefully we're talking about two more wins next week. Uh, till then, thank you very much, uh, coaches and Jimmy. And we'll see you next week. Thanks, Jimmy.